Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Kyla and today we're going to be talking about something really exciting. I don't know why my head keeps turning that way but uh, I'm going to be talking about something really exciting and something that I don't usually talk about because I don't really know what there is to talk about but I decided to do a little review because a lot of my friends have been asking me questions about all the tiny things that I have in my tiny little life um, like my newest baby and here she is. Ta-da! She's the Micro Lady Dior in pale yellow with light gold hardware. And I'll be talking about ta -da -da, my Samsung Z Flip 3 in the color cream if I'm not wrong. I've been using it for like a month. I'm not going to be doing a very techy review because I can't. Um, I don't really understand it as much. But I will be talking about um, the user experience because that is the only thing I can really tell you. And of course, the aesthetic of it. So the reason why I'll be doing this two together because this is by far the smallest bag that I have and this phone fits perfectly in here because when I got this a lot of my friends have been asking me, my friends, my family have been asking me what can I fit into this. So she actually packs a punch. Don't judge a book by its cover or a bag in this case. Uh, oh yes, she came with a little strap as well. I really wish they gave you a longer option though for this. So for reference, I'm 164. She kind of sits so when I on use her my, just slightly body. above my hip. And it, I don't know, it just doesn't feel as natural. So if I was given a little bit more leeway, that would have been great. So for now, I've been using her for about two days. Uh, I prefer to sling her over my It's just more comfortable that way. Uh, for my build. Okay, so you can also use her hand carry. And I think it's just adorable. She looks, she looks like a little Barbie bag, which is perfect. Honestly, I really wish I had a daughter because I would go nuts with this. I would collect this in every colour. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to by my husband. He'll probably like scream at me. But if I had a daughter, I would probably be broke. I can feel it already. Okay, so I will be doing a what's in my bag-ish video or what fits in my bag rather. So she really fits only the bare essentials. So I have my wallet here, oh, which is in blue broom. Isn't it the prettiest complementary colour? I love it. So pastel-y and so easy to get dirty. <laughs> but I love it. And okay, my keys. And of course, my phone. Ta-da. And I just love that the colour really matches, like my phone in the bag. One of the issues that I'm having with this bag is this top flap right here. I really wish you didn't put it because I can actually fit a lipstick on the top. I mean, I still can, but I won't be able to close the bag. So I really wish they did not put this because the bag is already so tiny. If, you know, if someone wants to get in my bag, they really have to get in my bag. So this is quite redundant, to be honest. And it would rub off against the metal loop here, which would eventually leave like a little indentation mark. So... That is one of the things that I really wish they did not do because it's so redundant. Just look at it. Anyways, uh, that fits in here. So if you want to put things like sanitizers or tissues, then I would suggest you remove your cards or cash from your wallet. I don't really carry cash with me. So I just have this card holder, which is great because she's super slim. But if you want to put um, other things in here, with your phone and your keys, then really it would be better to just remove your items so that you can fit more things without overstuffing the bag. That's just my personal opinion. Okay, so this is the review portion of the Samsung Z Flip 3 My Colors in Cream. And one of the really cool features is this display. It's slightly bigger than the previous one, which I believe is the 2. Uh, it's, I think, half the size. So you can actually see quite a fair bit. And I actually use this quite a lot when I'm out especially. Uh, this is for any notifications that you may have. I've cleared everything, so... Uh, if you do have any messages, WhatsApp or whatever, you can essentially use this screen to read. Then you just swipe right to have your widgets. I think that's what it's called. Yes, widgets. Um, swipe down to adjust your screen brightness, volume, and swipe up. Uh, to access your credit card. So all you need to do is just uh, put your finger here and you can actually 
uh, do contactless payment. Is that what it's called? PayWave? PayWave contactless payment. I think so. Oh well. Anyways, so you don't have to open your whole phone or even take out your wallet. So in my case, my bag is super tiny and you know, I, everything is packed really nicely and really tightly. I just need to take out my phone if um, the place I'm at accepts uh, PayWave. Okay, so one of the top questions that I get would be, is this little crease here annoying? No, it's not because honestly, you don't really notice it. Especially if you are using the phone, you never really go to this portion, the middle portion of the phone. You would essentially just move this way, right? So you don't really feel this line unless it's off. Then yes, see, you can actually see a little crease right here. But when you're using your phone, it really wouldn't bother you. At least it doesn't bother me. Uh, one of the things that I love about this would be this video wallpaper thing. Ah, oh, it's absolutely adorable. Uh, so Elgin was, he's using the Samsung Fold and he had this, which I was super envious of because I couldn't do it with my old phone, which was the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Um, what I love about that phone is that it's huge. So for me, I like the big display, but I also like the fact that this is tiny. So something's got to give. So um, I guess I could give up the big display for this really, really cute phone. Uh, let me see, what else can you do? Oh yes, you can even take photos with this. All you need to do is just double tap your power button and then this photo screen comes on and you can, okay, now you can see my ceiling fan. Um, but yeah, you can just take your photos like that. See, you can do the 5-5 five five thing and then it takes a photo. So all you need to do, see here, see, it's a lot bigger than what you would think. You would think that all you get would be that rectangular display, but it actually gives you a nice square. And I think you can adjust the size of this uh, in your settings, if I'm not mistaken. So honestly, this phone is perfect for anyone who likes small bags or if you're a guy and you like to go hands-free and you, you know you like to put your phone in your pocket, I'm sure this would fit perfectly, but I'm not sure if it's too feminine, but it really is your personal preference. So that is my personal review or user experience after using this phone for about a month. And honestly, I would change to this phone all over again because what else is going to fit in my newest baby? <laughs> Anyways, I hope you like watching this video. And if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!